I'm making this video because many of you have been asking me if it's really possible to get a job here in Australia, a professional job without any work experience. So I thought that it'd be best to just make a video about it and clarify your concerns. Now, if you have more questions after this video, please leave a comment below and I'll try to answer it. Okay, let's get started. The main question, is it possible to get a professional job in Australia if you're a recent graduate or if you don't have local work experience? The answer is yes, it is possible, but it will be a bit more challenging. There are a number of things that you can do in order to maximize your chances of landing a professional job without a work experience. The first thing that you can do is that when preparing your job application to highlight your education. This is especially if you're a recent graduate. Your education section should come before your work experience because this is going to be your most valuable asset. This is very, very important. Now in your education section, I highly recommend highlighting any qualifications or certificates that you have and a description of your course subjects. And again, remember that you should include the subjects that are relevant to the job that you're applying to. You should also include your final grades, of course, as long as they are good grades, if they make you stand out and if they show evidence that you actually performed really well throughout your studies, I highly recommend including this. If you graduated with high distinction, please make sure that you include this as well. If you are in the process of writing your final thesis or if you published any specific research or if you participate in a specific research project or coursework project or if one of your research essays got selected top of the class, make sure that you include all this information on the education section of your resume. Another tip is that you could include a link to your LinkedIn profile and in your LinkedIn profile if you don't have enough space on your resume to highlight those achievements you can as well make sure that you include enough details about all these course subjects and projects that you've been involved in. Please make sure to highlight any involvement in extracurricular activities or university clubs or university societies because this involvement usually reflect transferable skills such as leadership skills, communication skills, your ability to work in teams etc. Now in relation to this the second thing that you can do when you have limited work experience or if you're a recent graduate is to highlight transferable skills. As you may have seen in all my videos, I keep talking about transferable skills and these are basically skills that you developed in one experience and that you can transfer to a job or another experience. So for example, if you volunteered or if you led a sports club or if you participated in a university club or society, it's very likely that you gained very valuable skills. Or perhaps you worked in retail or you served tables at a restaurant. Whatever the case is, it's very likely that you gained very valuable customer service skills. So again, I suggest to include all these experience and highlight the transferable skills that you gained. Try to make a link to the key selection criteria as stated on the job description yeah that's very very important so highlight transferable skills now if you don't have any experience whatsoever my best advice is to volunteer or get any any job any entry-level job in terms of volunteering I recommend to volunteer in professional environments and you can find all these opportunities in websites such as go volunteer seek volunteer or volunteer in Australia for example you could volunteer helping a you know, not-for-profit managing their fundraising efforts or managing their social media accounts or perhaps doing administration for them. Again, I always say that when I was a student here, something that really helped me gain a local references and lo a local work experience is volunteering in the HR department of some uh, of really big non-for-profits here in Australia. And that was an amazing experience, not only because I gained valuable skills, but also because, um, and local references, but also because I was contributing to an amazing cause. And to the point where even after I got my paid job, I kept volunteering for most of these um, organizations. I also got to get more familiar with Australian workplace culture, which is something that really, really helped me once I got my professional job. It wasn't a shock. I was kind of um, used to um, in that environment. Another thing that you can do when you have very limited work experience is to do internships or placements, especially if you're an international student here. It's very likely that your university, your institute, has the option of completing placements or internships as part of your studies, as part of your curriculum. So check that out because that, again, is a very valuable experience where you're going to gain very relevant skills to your field of work and gain local references and perhaps those opportunities may turn into 
into permanent jobs. So I highly recommend doing any internships part of your studies if you have the, the opportunity to do so. Another thing that you can do to get your foot in the door is to network and this could be network with your teachers, with people that you met in your volunteering experiences, perhaps with your classmates or even with alumni. Most institutes and universities have alumni portals where you can connect with graduates from that university and you can ask them for career advice or you could also connect with prospective employers or perhaps with recruiters as well through LinkedIn and see if they have any available opportunities for you. That's another option, networking. Another thing that you can do to get your foot in the door and get more work experience is to start freelancing. So for example, if you think that you're really good at photography or perhaps developing websites, you could definitely offer your services in uh, freelancing platforms such as Fiverr or Upwork. And these are amazing tools to start building your portfolio, gaining testimonials, client reviews, and basically building a network of new clients. So freelancing is another amazing way of um, gaining valuable work experience. Now, if suddenly you realize that perhaps you are lacking specific skills, perhaps you are an amazing photographer, but not at the level where someone would pay you for that, then my main recommendation, and this is something that I always recommend doing, is to invest in your education. So if you want to sharpen your photography skills or web developing skills or your Excel skills, whatever it is, I highly recommend enrolling in a course, in an online course. So invest in your education to gain new skills because I'm sure that your skills could be very valuable for many people. Yeah. So it's all about investing in things that matter. In relation to this, if you want more content, if you want to know a bit more about working in Australia, I have lots of videos for you to check out in this channel, full library of videos. So um, check that out and yeah, I'll see you next time.